<laughs> Talking about that, you know, like all of those things, right? Mm -hmm. Because yes, the camera's on, mm -hmm. you know, Hawaii, mm -hmm. I mean, all of the games are televised or most of the games are mm -hmm. televised because we don't have pro sports mm -hmm. here, right? Mm -hmm. And then you know about like how you guys actually approach and play your game. What Are you guys similar in that way? Like how much aggression, intensity, trash talk, I don't know <laughs> what, maybe not so much for you, but what are your, what are your things that help you perform on game day? Like what's your style of play like? I'm always chill. Yeah, she's <laughs> like, super chill. I'm just chill. Like, like sometimes my mom is like, "Do you have any emotion in there? <laughs> like, look excited on the I court." Know, like, just sort of the straight face. But like, time. I get frustrated though. Like, yeah. if I like miss a play or something happens, and I have to like bite mm -hmm. my mouth. Like, I think I seen on a replay of mine. It's like uh -huh. it was in, on my face after one of my mistakes. So I was like biting my lip. Like, oh, don't say anything. Don't like, say anything. Don't <laughs> let anything uh -huh. spill out. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh man. Just uh -huh. trying to keep composed through those. Yeah. And that helps performance wise too, right? Mm -hmm. Because if you get too emotional or too up and down, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. your performance is gonna, you know, suffer. Mm -hmm. Kind of forget totally, about the last yeah. play and just move gotta forward. Gotta keep moving. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I gave myself three seconds and then just yeah. Can't do anything about it. Just yeah. move forward. Even yeah. that is something good mentally to tell you. Yeah, mm -hmm. just like, okay, three seconds and Damn. just trash it. Let's yeah, move forward, totally. right? That's something that will probably help a lot of people too in sports. Mm -hmm. What about for you? It's a little bit more aggressive. A lot more trajectory. aggression, I would say. You know, a lot of, there's a lot of chatter. <laughs> yeah. You know, all of us talking story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> talking story. That's a, that's yeah, a good yeah, way to put it. Yeah. yeah we, we, there's a lot of joying going on, yeah. I'll be honest. But. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, as long as it just stayed on the field, you yeah, know, nothing carried true. over afterwards, mm -hmm. yeah. nothing on social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. social media is a lot bigger now. Than I know, thank God. Then. Yeah, it wasn't you know, too bad. You've got athletes calling on each other on social media <laughs> yeah, nowadays. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah there's a lot crazy. of lot of aggression, you know, and, and and I think it was necessary, mm -hmm. especially playing in the trenches. You know, mm -hmm. you're just going at it with the guy in front of you the whole game. The whole game, yeah. Legally, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah. there's some stuff to the guy, you know. Yeah. 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 You know, when you think about that too, because in football, right, obviously there's a lot more people playing on the field at one time, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And your position groups become very close, right? Yes. Like a lot of your yep. brothers and stuff. So mm -hmm. think about that. Like, what was it like, you know, being there for the person next to you, but even your position group, all the D linemen mm -hmm. working together and, you yeah. know, like, no matter how that game was going, right? Yeah. If it was more of an obstacle, or if you guys were doing really well dominating the other team, yep. how did you guys stick together, you know, through games? You know, there, there was um, there was a sense of accountability. So we had, um, well, from my my earlier years, there were you know, we had some guys that you know that put everybody in check. You know, they held everybody mm -hmm. accountable, like Chantil's brother Liko, mm -hmm. there was uh, Von Meotoma, mm -hmm. um, Kaniella Tuipolota. Those were all guys that you know that made sure that we were doing what we were supposed to be doing. And then, um, you know, when they left and I became, you know, a senior or like one of the upperclassmen in the group, you know, we had a group of guys that, that took that we took that role on. You know, we had to make sure that everybody knew that they had a job to do and we executed. And, um, you know, any time during a game when somebody wasn't doing their job, you know, it was on us to let them know, like, hey, you, you got to pick your stuff up, you know, like you missed that gap, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then that's how close we were because... We had that love and respect for each other that we could tell each other yeah. that. And then, as I said earlier, that stayed on the field, you mm -hmm. know, like when we go back into the hotel rooms, you know, we're all playing, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. on the field, you know, it's business, you know, yeah. and um, I made some really, really good friends, like mm -hmm. I mentioned earlier, like like Bo Yap, Moses Samia, Kaelin Frio, yeah. Sawi Matangi, yes, yes, all my boys, yeah. Nico Uti, yeah. mm -hmm. all my bestest friends, like we, st I just, we just texted each other yesterday, uh -huh. you know, and I love those brothers, you know, like as much as I would have done anything for them on the field, I would do anything for them like today, yeah. you know, if they ever called for anything. And she always tells me I have a really good group of friends. Mm -hmm. And I think mm -hmm. it was our bond on the field, you know, because like we literally went to war together. That's yeah. what it was, you know, we went to war and um, we used to lay it all on the yeah. line for each other. And mm -hmm. uh, even that's how it is now, you know. Yeah, it's crazy how it just yeah, lasts like, forever, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And kind of dating all of us, but yep. dating you guys a little bit. How long, when did you graduate from? 2014, 2014 was my, my last so, season. I mean, eight years later, right? You're still like that close, right? Yeah. So <laughs> all of this is, you know, it shows like how much you guys have been through, mm -hmm. through your career, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, on, on your end too, like volleyball, obviously six people on the court, right? Mm -hmm. But how important is it for 
you guys to work together, oh, have totally. each other's back, right? Yeah. And what was that like for the teams mm -hmm. that you played with? Yeah, it, it was really good. There was always that person that was keep mm -hmm. everybody together. You know, if somebody's mm -hmm. down, you got to just be the glue. That was always like Liz Kaihui was mm -hmm. a big one. And, mm -hmm. Um, Daddy Mofu was a huge lead too, mm -hmm. just to keep the team yeah. together and yeah. stay cohesive because I mean, that's you, yes. you guys fall apart, then yes. that's the end. And I would yeah. say, even more so in volleyball, right? If one person is struggling, mm -hmm. right, oh, yeah. that's going to have a huge impact on yeah. the six of you guys, mm -hmm. right? To actually compete and perform, right? In football too, right? But you know, in football, there can be, you know, there's okay. plays where, you know, Maybe it doesn't go to that side, or you know, it's it's still important. You got to be yep. your one eleven. Yep. You know, you can still, I would say, hide a little bit more, right? Yeah, <laughs> in, yeah. in certain places where volleyball, it's like the surf's coming over. There's no yeah, place no for time. you to hide. Yeah. 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 So yeah. it's kind of different, you know, different technique, strategy in the different yeah. games and stuff like that. Yep. 